If you can appreciate the intricate details of the State Fair's Discovery Garden, then perhaps you should venture over to the DNR building for some miniature works of angling art. The Iowa Department of Natural Resources fly tying competition is only a few years old, but it's already capturing the attention of some creative anglers from border to border. The details are so tiny, but for a group of hardcore aquatic artists, the potential rewards are enormous. Our little club in central Iowa, I would say about half of the fly fishermen tie their own flies. Um, so it's all in, in taking the sport another step further and getting the satisfaction of tying your own fly and then catching a fish with it. That's a real thrill. Many anglers can buy their bait or tackle for lake and pond fishing at a local shop, while others may acquire a network of advanced flies for use on northeast Iowa's trout streams. But a different breed of fly fishermen mix angling with art, and they are going head to head in the Iowa DNR's relatively new competition. From an aesthetic point of view and proportions, it's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Use the jungle cock. Mm -hmm. Nice ribbing. Yeah. Yeah, the ribbing's got nice uh, even segments on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you're fishing uh, late winter, how the snow banks will just be covered with these little, mm -hmm. look like pepper. Yeah. yeah. After months of tedious effort in their own workshops, competitors bring their micro-sized flies to the state fair in search of awards. There's four categories, the dry, the wet fly, the nymph, um, a uh, open category, and a streamer. And each one of those has kind of different types of uh, proportions and use of materials. I agree, from difficulty, this is certainly the most difficult to tie. A small cluster of professional judges spend hours examining everything from craftsmanship to color to categorical correctness, as different flies can be the grand champ in their own respective classification. There's a lot of different applications here yeah, in different material. materials and so forth. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a more complicated tie. Mm -hmm. Snow midge, is that in for a ribbon too? Yeah. Well, you have to determine the proportions so that you don't have an extra long tail or you don't have too fat a body um, and uh, how, how tall the wing is. Of course, the recipes say to, to harden his head. So it's all about proportions and use of materials and then tying it neatly so that it looks like a head of the fish or a bug. We have a number of good tires across the state of Iowa. 